Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium leprae. Today, we shall discuss Mycobacterium avium complex, which can lead to pulmonary disease with solitary pulmonary nodule, cavitation, bronchiectasis, or disseminated disease where no organ is spared now let's get started why do we call them mycobacteria because they have mycolic acid in the cell wall please watch the videos in this playlist in order mycobacteria are immotile aerobic non-spore forming gram positive rods they do not stain well with gram stain that's why you will need an acid fast stain instead Mycobacteria have a long chain mycolic acid, 70 to 90 carbons, and because they have mycolic acid, they resist the decolorization with acid solutions, therefore they are acid fast. Mycobacterium tuberculosis causes tuberculosis, Mycobacterium leprae causes leprosy, Mycobacterium marinum causes skin lesions after swimming or working with fish, Mycobacterium avium complex can lead to pulmonary disease or disseminated infections. First, the nomenclature, Mycobacterium avium, genus Mycobacterium, species avium. Some of them cause diseases in birds, and this will be called Mycobacterium avium, subspecies avium. But since this is a channel about medicine, we care more about the disease in humans. Ergo, Mycobacterium avium, subspecies homin, from human, isius. And Mycobacterium avium subspecies intracellulari. If you lump these two together, now you will call the Mycobacterium avium complex because it's more than one organism. Mycobacterium avium complex. If I am immunocompetent, I can get solitary pulmonary nodule or cavitation that's similar to tuberculosis or bronchiectasis. If I have weak immunity, I can get lymphadenopathy and then bacteremia then disseminated infections all over the body where no organ is spared. How do I treat the MAC? With macrolides, erythromycin, azithromycin, clarithromycin. If you want to learn more about the macrolides, the fluoroquinolones, the penicillin, cephalosporins, vancomycin, etc., download my antibiotics course on my website medicosisperfectionandus.com. I also have a surgery high yields course and many other courses. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. In the next video, we'll talk about Mycobacterium marinum. Always remember, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.